know, happen on a particular pitch or something you had been feeling for a little bit? No, that's what's frustrating. Um, you know, felt good warming up, felt really good in the first and second inning. And then um, there in the third, you know, my shoulder was sore. Um, this is getting old, you know, I, I want to be out there competing and coming out of these games with these little, you know, hopefully this turns out to be nothing, um, you know, said something. Hopefully before it was, you know, didn't want it to turn into anything serious, but just, you know, a sh uh, shoulder was sore back of it um, and just wanted to say something to be smart. But like I said, this is frustrating. I want to be out there as, as long as I can be out there. Felt really good uh, tonight early on. And then, you know, like I said, in third, just got pretty sore and uh, said something and that was it. After your last start, you talked pretty confidently about the fact that you thought it was nothing and you'd make your your next start. Um, are you as confident today that that this will be a, a you know minor bump? Yeah, I would like to think so. Um, you know, like I said, I mean, I felt really good first and first and second inning. Felt like everything was in line. Didn't notice. Went and looked. Didn't notice anything I was doing different. Um, but you know, just the back of my shoulder got sore and. Uh, the first couple of pitches, I was like, okay, you know, maybe, um, it'll go away. Um, and it continued on every pitch throughout that inning. And, um, you know, that's whenever I was like, okay, maybe we, we gotta be smart again. You know, I keep saying it's early, but, uh, you know, this is frustrating coming out of games like that. Jake, you know, this may be a difficult question to answer, but I know part of the, the reason you've been cautious is that you don't want to change your mechanics in any way and, and, you know, hurt another part of your body with the lat, the elbow, now the shoulder, do you feel like this is all interconnected or do you feel like it's it's just three separate issues that have been kind of freak? Um, I think it's three separate issues because I think the, you know, lat was something to do with a swing and the elbow, I you know, I didn't think too much of. Um, just, you know, I... I, I, like I said, I was pretty confident that that was nothing. And, you know, I'm pretty confident that this is nothing. You know, I've, uh, we did some tests and, and, you know, kind of ruled out anything serious and, you know, um, going to go from there. Um, I, the plans to get it looked at tomorrow and, you know, hopefully check off that box where it's nothing and just, um, you know, get ready to pitch. Uh, hopefully my next one. I mean, I guess we'll just have to see what tomorrow brings. Next up is Anthony DeComo. Hey, Jake. In your mind, despite thinking this is nothing, despite believing you can go out there in five days, is there any benefit to maybe saying, you know what, I'm just going to shut this down for a couple of weeks, try to get everything right, and then go back out there and do full strength the rest of the way? Um, yeah, that's a tough question because I want to be out there every fifth day. But, you know, like I said, it's frustrating coming out of games like this. Um, you know, you, you, me, I expect to go out there and, and give us depth. And, you know, I haven't done that. Like I, uh, like I expect out of myself, um, you know, and the bullpen's done a great job of picking me up, but, you know, I, I can't keep doing that to those guys. Um, you know, so I think that's going to be a decision based on, you know, what, what we, um, see tomorrow and, you know, that'll probably be a discussion to be had, but, um, the competitor in me wants to be out there. But like I said, um, it's frustrating leaving games early. And when you did get the MRI earlier this week, what exactly did it show? I know the Mets had said tendonitis, but no MRIs, you know, 100% clean for pictures. So what, what exactly did you see on those images? As far as my elbow? As far as, honestly, anything that it might have showed. Yeah, I mean, it was it looked good, um, you know, and... I was pretty confident in that. I just felt like it was aggravated, um, you know, and there's stretches where you go through that. Um, you know, that's part of this game. You you pitch a little beat up sometimes, but, um, you know, normally if when I'm on the mound, like in between, you're always you're always recovering, you know, during your bullpen, you probably don't feel great in between. But normally when I take the mound, I feel pretty good. And like I said, tonight with that, uh, popping up in the third inning and and not going away or or really loosening up, it was just sore. So that's when I thought I should say something. Next up is Dave Lennon. 
Hey, Jake, with, with what you're doing this year, performance-wise, throwing so much harder than you ever have and, and so much harder than anybody else in the game, is there anything with, with these little things that are coming up just part of the stress of that? I mean, I, I know your delivery is very good and your mechanics are very smooth, but I, I just wonder if there's any type of accumulation from, from so much velocity and, and throwing so hard so often. Um, you know, I, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know the answer to that. Um, you know, I, I think I've referred to it before is whenever I feel like everything's in line and the ball's actually coming out with less effort. That's what I felt like in the first two innings tonight. Um, and that's why, you know, that sitting here, I'm very frustrated with going out in the third and then feeling that it just was like, you know, where did this come from with how felt good in the bullpen felt good in between all week preparing for this start. Um, and then, you know, this pops up and it's frustrating. So, you know, and, and I, I don't know where to place the blame, um, you know, whether it's what you said or, um, you know, I don't I don't know where it came from, honestly. Thanks, Jake. Mike Puma, you're up. Jay, does, does any part of you wonder if, you know, following last year's shortened season where you didn't get the innings build up and now, you, you know, you come back this year, it's a full slate again, if, if there's any kind of correlation there? Uh, you know, I haven't thought about that too much. Um, you know, I guess there could be. Um, but like I said, you know, minus these minor little injuries that have been, a, you know, a week or whatever, you know, come out early for last start and then was able to take them out in this time. And then, you know, it's something different. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's, what, what, what's to blame. Um, you know, it's, it's just, like I said, it's frustrating. I don't really know. I haven't thought too much about that. Safe to say this is kind of the most frustrating stretch of, you know, it's certainly the last few years, right? Yeah. You know, cause like I said, I, I have felt pretty good except for minor things, you know, I, and I guess, you know, that one way to look at it is, you know, to be thankful that it's not hasn't been anything serious and and you know you're i've been able to still go out there like but you know the what's frustrating is not being able to go out there for as long as i would like to and and you know help out our team we'll go to justin discounter next hey jake you mentioned a couple minutes ago that every pitcher kind of pitches a little banged up pretty often how do you go about when you experience the right shoulder tightness how do you go about discerning whether you know it's something you, you could pitch through or whether you just kind of need to shut it down i just think that noticing it didn't get any better from the first pitch of the third to the last pitch of the third that was kind of the indicator for me and then uh, Luisa said that Jeremy, just being, you know, a former pitcher, has helped a lot with the arm care stuff. I'm wondering if there's anything specific that he's helped you with in, in that regard. Um, you know, I, I've, I'm kind of – I stick to a, a, a pretty strict routine of the stuff that I do. And, um, you know, I guess probably should ask him, I guess. Respect your up. Jake, how, how do you balance the historic results of, of your season thus far with these different ailments, which which are which are nagging and holding you back? I think that's what's frustrating. You know, it's like I, I take them out and feeling good, and then there's been a couple. The last two have been, you know, mid game stuff. That that's what's really frustrating about it. You know, you take them out and feeling good, like like tonight. I mean, the first two innings, I felt probably the best I felt all year had good command of everything um you know was able to throw the ball to both sides of the plate and then go out there like I said in third and this pops up and um you know it's it's I don't I don't even know what to say I'm pretty aggravated with it are you getting to the point Jake where you're wondering almost when you're on the mound like what might happen next no I don't think like that um I try to think where I'm going to throw that pitch at that time Last question will be from Andy Martino. Uh, Jake, I, I think you said to Steve's question earlier, you were able to rule out a couple of things tonight. Uh, what were you able to rule out that was more serious already? Um, you know, you, you, you test this. Uh, what we tested was the strength, um, you know, and compare both sides. And, and that was all fine. So, you know, normally if you do something that's, that's more serious, you're going to lose quite a bit of strength and, and, 
the one side. So we did, we tested that and that all, that all turned out good. And so then you go for the MRI tomorrow to get the image. Yeah, we're going to get it looked at it tomorrow. We're going to get it looked at tomorrow. Jacob, thank you for your time. Yep.